I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past. Can you change between me and your person? We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Aquarius, the recent past energy between you and your person, Four of Cups, and it's with the Justice. Now, the Four of Cups can be about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now and to count your many blessings that we each currently experience and not to worry too much about what could be. Because it's all too easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So, be sure you're counting your blessings. Don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. Because a lot of life, it actually has to do with where we put our focus. So, be sure to put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to, that you have to be thankful for. Now, it's with the Justice card, which deals with the idea of karma and the law of cause and effect. It's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Yeah, so sometimes we're called upon to deal with the actions or the results of someone that we care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. Now, what I'm getting for you, Aquarius, you and your person, for the recent past energy, is that you, you dealt with someone who you felt like... Um, there was injustice. You felt like they, this person did you wrong, or you just felt like they didn't do right by you. Something happened where it just made you feel like Yeah, so you felt like Justice needed to be served. Your person, they did you wrong. They didn't do right by you. You felt like they probably got away with murder. And it just left you feeling probably angry and upset. And you kind of wanted them to have a taste of their own medicine. Yeah, you felt like there was injustice. And whatever this person did or said to you, it made you feel like this Four of Cups. This man is sitting there with his head down. He's feeling devalued. And he's feeling unloved. So we move on over. And we'll take a look. And see what's coming up. We got the Ten of Swords. And it's with the Hangman. Now. The Ten of Swords is actually a sign to be careful about where you put your trust when it comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable. It's a pretty clear answer of no. However, try to keep in mind whenever a door closes, another door opens, you're being guided to a situation that's better for you. So trust yourself and trust the universe. Now it's with the hangman. The hangman shows that you're at a crossroads, one with only two options, in or out, up or down, yes or no. You could find yourself wanting to do something, but you have no idea what it is or how to do it. So if this happens, it's a sign that you need to stop, relax, and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life, situations, people, or things. It could be possible that there's an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of. 
any sacrifice that you make, it will open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. So overall, there should be a thoughtful, reflective time, especially if you're willing to look at if or how you might deserve your own interest by being willing to change. So, Aquarius, basically coming up, Ten of Swords, clarified by the Hangman. So, yeah, whatever happened between you and your person, like I said, it's making you feel really lousy. And you just want, you, you're wanting them to get a taste of their own medicine. They left you with a really bitter taste in your mouth. And on top of that, like I said, whatever they did or said to you, you're feeling really devalued devalued and unloved. And coming up with this Ten of Swords um, and the Hangman clarified by this it's showing that it, it also left a nasty mark on you because now you're having a hard time trusting people overall and it's, it's going to be showing that it's going to be hard for you to move on to the next because you're stuck in your head now you're not sure you know what's what or who's who or yes or no or should you or shouldn't you and now you have trust issues so when you put those two together it's it's not a really good feeling and then on top of that your self-esteem is probably probably at a very low. Four of Cups is not a good picture either. So, whatever whatever type of connection this was, it it uh, left a really nasty mark on you. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Knight of Cups, and it's with the Tower. Now the Knight of Cups. It's very optimistic, a card to see in a reading. This one comes with messages. Usually they're the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. It tells you that things are going well, and you're likely to be feeling charged up, ready for action. This card often means good news, particularly with matters of the heart. It's coming in. Now, it's with the Tower card, which can be about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster. Roll with the changes. It's likely that some people's situations that you have counted on as being there for you may no, may no longer be there in quite the same way. This doesn't have to be drastic because we all know change. It's the nature of life. And if we try to prevent it, it could be like trying to roll upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. Now keep in, keep in mind, that's only a problem if you let it be, because you can replace them with some more realistic and reachable goals and dreams. So, the challenge Knight of Cups clarified by the tower. There's someone that's coming in towards you, being very romantic and sensitive. Could be someone new, but you're not trusting that either. You feel like it's going to be a big disaster. Like I said, whatever happened in the recent past with your person, it left a nasty mark on you. You're not trusting anything. You're not trusting anyone. Somebody's coming in. I'm getting for a lot of you. It's someone new. Yeah. Being very romantic and sensitive. But... You feel like it's going to be a huge tower moment. And it's all because you have trust issues now. You feel like it's just going to fall apart. So why get involved? That's what you're thinking. Trust issues. Yeah. You're scorned. That's what this is. You're scorned. And you, you probably... Yeah, you just want... Yeah, you... Your your um self confidence is at a low now. 
and you just don't feel like anybody would, would do right by you. Yeah, and you're just kind of stuck in your head. So, let's see what the outcome is. Queen of Wands and the higher fit. Now, the Queen of Wands can refer to a woman. She could have a lot of fire energy. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. When not referring to an actual person, he could stand for getting a lot accomplished. Could be focused on work or career. The Queen is positive, uplifting energy. When it does stand for an actual person or a woman in your life, she's a good friend who is 100% on your side, even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. No, it's with the higher friend. With this card, you could be searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend when you're called for advice or help with some important matters. Your intelligence and empathy put you in a position to provide a whole lot of support. So this could be you or someone coming towards you or someone that you know. They're quick-witted, well-educated, wise teachers marked by integrity. integrity. Quite frank, frankly, the higher fit is the real deal. Genuine article, true blue, highly admired individuals. They walk the walk, they talk the talk, and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. So the outcome Aquarius, Queen of Wands, clarified by the Hierophant. Whoever this Knight of Cups is coming in, being romantic and sensitive, they're very determined about you. Very determined. They could be egotistical. Um, they're used, maybe they're used to getting what they want. Very confident type. You probably know who this person is, or you... Or maybe you, maybe it's someone new. But anyway, they're very determined. That's how the Queen of Wands is. Um, but it's with the higher fit. So yeah. Yeah, you're having a hard time. You're struggling here. You don't believe this person would be true. Yeah. Yeah, you, at this at this point, you need someone like the higher fit. True, loyal, honest, sincere, marked by integrity. The higher fit offers deep love. Yeah, there's no games being played with the higher fit. Someone's coming towards you. Like I said, you might already know who this is. You feel like it's going to be a big tower moment because you just went through... You went through... <laughs> something really bad with your person, whoever you were seeing. Yeah. And you just want justice to be served. You felt like they did you wrong. Now you're all stuck in your head and confused and just not feeling good about yourself. You got real, you got huge trust issues. Yeah, so you're not trusting anyone that comes towards you. But someone is very determined. You think it's going to be a huge tower moment. And you want someone sincere and loyal. And you, you're just scared you're not going to get it with this person. So Aquarius, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario? And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aquarius, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that all of you are safe and doing well during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong and take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for our next Aquarius reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind the roles can be switched. Yes, they can. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, or a situation. So, just take the reading for however it resonates. So, Aquarius, 
I can never see it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care.